guys. Uh, I was going to try to do this on either the 25th or the 26th or something. Somewhere like closer to Christmas, but uh, I still had a movie showing up and uh, I wanted to wait till I got it before I did this Christmas haul. But since it hasn't shown up yet and it's the 31st, I don't want to do this video in January. So uh, the movie I'm actually missing is uh, a Blu ray copy of uh, The World's End, and I'm still waiting for that movie to show up. If the, if the movie shows up like while I'm editing this or uh, before I post this, I'll probably make an update quickly before I upload it, but got it. As at the moment, I do not have it, so I can't really show it off yet. But uh, before I get to the movies, I, I want to get to uh, the other things I got, which is actually only one thing. And uh, usually for the other years, I usually got like... I usually focused on like action figures and stuff, but this year I wanted to focus on more movies, so I didn't get as many action figures as I did last year. But uh, the figure I got uh, was Studio Series Ironhide. This was a this was a figure that I've been wanting for a while now, since it was I've been wanting it ever since it was announced, and uh, I finally got my hands on it and. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what else to say other than I've been wanting it for a while and I finally have it. But, uh, and I have my movies split into three groups and because I got all three, uh, I got mo uh, these movies through different stores. Uh, this first stack of movies I got at FYE at a, like, they're going on sale now, so a lot of the movies are cheaper. But, uh, Got myself a copy of Ten Cloverfield Lane, which is easily my favorite of the Cloverfield movies, as well as one of my favorite horror movies of all time. Uh, got myself a uh, Blu-ray copy of Inception, and this one, it was kind of a weird one. Not not the movie, but uh, I mainly only got this because I knew I know for a fact I used to have this movie, but it kind of just disappeared on me for some reason so I had to get myself a new copy which I'm fine with the previous one I had was on DVD and I'd prefer to have it on blu-ray um, this next movie I wish I actually found on blu-ray but um, when I was at FYE I couldn't find it on blu-ray so I had to settle down for DVD which kind of makes me mad mainly because this is one of my all-time favorite movies and I wanted to see it in the best quality possible but yeah, whatever. It's I still got the movie nonetheless, and uh, yeah, if you can't read it, it's uh, Seven uh, by uh, David Fincher, and yeah, like I said, this is one of my favorite movies of all time. It's like easily in my top five favorites. Um, this next, uh, these next two movies actually are uh, mainly for because I'm trying to catch up on my Zack Snyder movies, and I only have. Uh, three uh, Zack Snyder movies, at least on the physical copies. So I got myself 300 and uh, Watchmen: The Director's Cut. And these two, these two movies were also ones I couldn't find on Blu-ray for some reason. And I had to settle down for getting the DVDs, which I guess I'm fine with. But I, again, I prefer to get these on Blu-ray. But yeah, whatever. Again, I still, at least at the end of the day, I still got them. Uh, this next movie is one that a lot of people hate, but I always liked it. And it was Snow White and the Huntsman. I don't know why people don't like this movie, but personally, I like it. And when I saw it on a shelf, and it was like, uh, it was going on sale. I think it was like, it says it's eight, like 19, but I think I found it and it was like, I think it was on sale for 15 or something like that, or less than that. Somewhere around 15 bucks, I think. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'll get it. And I haven't seen it since it came out. But I remember liking it. And, uh, this, next, this next one is kind of weirdly packaged. And it's the X-Men Apocalypse. 
I say it's weirdly packaged because it's obviously a Blu-ray cover, but it's on like a DVD sized case. And uh, the thing in the middle is kind of broken. Like when I got it, like the disc was sliding all over the place and it doesn't peg in as much as I, as good as I like. And luckily the DVD is not scratched and uh, because I've been wanting to watch this movie ever since it came out and I still haven't seen it yet but mainly because I wanted to do this video before I watched the movies I haven't seen yet. Uh, yeah, I got an excellent apocalypse and I'm pretty excited to have this one and even though I hear that it's not very good. <laughs> but I don't care. I think, honestly, I don't really care. It's like, I've always liked X-Men, and I want, I want to try to get as many X-Men movies as I can. And, uh, actually, speaking of X-Men slash Marvel, I was actually trying, I wanted to get a lot of MCU movies, but the main thing that kept me from doing it was, I was more focused on getting movies that I don't have access to, or just movies that I want in general. So that's why I got stuff like Seven, Watchmen, and all that. And, uh, but I did get one MCU movie, and it was mainly because I wanted to complete a certain quadrilogy, as you might say, is, uh, Avengers Endgame, and, uh, yeah, I finally got my own copy of this, and, uh, this was one I was definitely wanting to get on Blu-ray, mainly because I got the other three on Blu-ray, and I thought it would have been weird if I got this on DVD. Like, I got my, like, I got all the other three on Blu-ray and I got my favorite of the Avengers movies on DVD that would have been kind of weird looking but uh, whatever um, yeah I finally got my own copy of this and uh, yeah, another oh yeah uh, I'm done with the talking about the FYE ones this this one at these next movies including the Avengers Endgame I got at Best Buy and uh, so these movies were a lot more expensive than the ones at FYE, and a lot better quality packaging, I guess, or packaging, I say, is what I mean is, like, discs aren't sl sliding all over the place and stuff like that, but whatever. Um, the next one I got was Bumblebee, and uh, now I officially have every single live-action Transformers movie, and uh, two of which are on Blu-ray, including this one, and... Uh, yeah, I've been wanting this. I've only seen it the one time, and it was when it was in theaters. So I'm really excited to watch this movie again. Um, okay, this one was kind of. I can't. I want to say an impulsive buy, mainly because uh, I've been wanting to watch this movie ever, for a while now, and uh, I got it on the 4K mainly because it was the only one that was available. I couldn't find a normal Blu-ray or. DVD or anything. Plus, I keep hearing that this movie is a complete masterpiece, so I was like, May, if I get it in the 4K packaging, it'll, uh, hopefully it's worth it. And uh, Funny enough, this is actually the first ever 4K uh, copy I've ever gotten. And the main reason why I've never gotten a f the 4K one before is because I don't have any 4K players. So, uh, so I was never able to actually uh, use them or watch the actual super high quality one. So, but it does have the Blu-ray and uh, the Blu-ray copy in here. So that's I guess that's a plus. Um, this next one is like I also haven't seen this next one, but uh, I am actually unable to watch it at the moment. Not because there's anything wrong with the DVD, but. Uh, it's because I don't have glass or don't even have access to, not glass, uh, split. I don't have access to split, so I've, and I've never seen split either. So it'd be kind of weird jumping to the third one without seeing the second one. And, uh, but I have seen Unbreakable, but I, but I haven't seen split yet. And, uh, which, I don't really know what else to say other than I'm unable to watch it at the moment due to the fact that I feel uncomfortable watching the third one before the second one. And the reason why I didn't get the second one or the or I didn't get split was because I never found it. I could not find it anywhere, so. Um, 
but hopefully sometime in the future I like I will be getting myself one uh, I also have Alita Battle Angel which uh, this was another movie I've been wanting to get for a while or at least wanting to watch for a while because I think this one came out on uh, I actually don't know when this one came out but I know when it did come out I really wanted to watch it mainly because it was very it, I think it was based off of a manga that I heard a little bit about, and plus the story looked really interesting, so can't wait to watch that. And uh, so that's it for the Best Buy movies. And here are the movies that I got online, and these were the movies that uh, that wor the World's End was supposed to come with, but uh, for some reason the World's End didn't show up. Uh, I uh, did get Baby Driver, which I think I've only seen this movie twice, and both times I absolutely adored the shit out of it. And, uh, yeah, this is easily by far one of my favorite movies as well. And, uh, don't really know what else to say about it other than I like it and can't wait to watch it again. Uh, I also got Pulp Fiction, which, uh... I've been wanting to get this one for a while. Like, I do have access to it. Like, I have access to Netflix and stuff, and this movie's on Netflix at the moment. But, uh, I wanted my own copy, mainly due to the fact that it just, I absolutely adore this movie and just wanted my own copy of it. And, plus, I don't really rely on Netflix that much because I know that they're probably going to be taking it off of there at some point. Um,. I also got Logan, which, uh, yeah, I don't, uh, which is by far my all-time favorite, um, uh, X-Men movie, as well as one of my favorites of, uh, yeah, it's all, also one of my all-time favorite superhero movies as well. I don't really know what my number one favorite superhero movie is, because there's so many good ones, but, but this is easily up there. Uh, with some of the better ones, and, uh, yeah, that's actually about it, actually, no, that is exactly just it, that's all I got for Christmas, and it took, what, 12 and a half minutes to take, uh, talk about it, Jesus, um, I didn't want the video to be very long, but knowing how slow, talk, uh, how slow I am at talking about stuff, it, I don't really know how else to do it. But, uh, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and, uh, uh, I need to work on closing my videos, because I'm, I'm fucking terrible at this. <laughs>